snow is falling and the cold wind is blowing hard I'm locked inside tonight but my heart is somewhere else I'm thinking of you babe and all your crazy ways I miss you more right now it must be these hard days You know you're my everything, the only present I want. And oh, what I give to be with you under the mistletoe. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Yeah, I got you on my mind. Merry Christmas from a distance. I wish you were here tonight. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Yeah, I got you on my mind. Merry Christmas from a distance. I wish you were here tonight. Oh, what I give to have you here, my dear. We could sing and laugh about our wonderful year. I can see it now, yeah, your lips stained from the wine And that sweet smile you have, your hand in mine You know you're my everything, the only present I want Oh, what I give to be with you under the mistletoe Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, I got you on my mind. Merry Christmas from a distance, I wish you were here tonight. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, yeah, I got you on my mind. Merry Christmas from a distance, I wish you were here tonight. I'm dreaming you home for the holidays I'm dreaming you home right now I'm dreaming you home because you're all I really want I'm dreaming you home tonight Merry Christmas Merry Christmas, yeah, I got you on my mind. Merry Christmas from a distance, I wish you were here tonight. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, yeah, I got you on my mind. Merry Christmas from a distance, I wish you were here tonight. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, yeah, I got you on my mind. Merry Christmas from a distance, I wish you were here tonight.
to the 12th annual Ryan Neese Foundation Power of Giving Holiday Party. It is definitely going to be a party. It's all presented by the DeBartolo Family Foundation. My name is Angie. I'm your host, and we are so glad you're joining us here tonight to help us with our fundraising goals. Now, listen, we know the party looks a little bit different than last year, but it's safer and it's more comfortable this way. Now listen, we have so much fun in store. We've got comedy, we've got drinks. Yes, we have music, we have a silent auction bidding, and most importantly, we have what you're gonna learn is all about the power of giving, what it's about, and who plays an active part. Now, speaking of active part, we'd like you to play an active role tonight in helping us fill our power of giving meter. So to do that, you need to register. You need to register to donate by texting leadership to 72727 to get started. It's so easy. So now let's learn how your donation will make a difference in the lives of others. So I'd like to welcome Mr. Ryan Neese. Ryan! <laughs> Woo! I love that sweater. What's, What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Happy holidays to you. Happy holidays to everyone out there. Uh, I'm so excited to be here. Clearly, we're doing things a little bit different this year, but no doubt it's going to be a fun night. I'm so grateful for everyone showing up here, watching, tuning in with your family, friends, and shout out to all the board members and everybody that made this happen, bringing together the power of giving. What a night. Yes, this is definitely going to be good. We've got so much fun in store. It's like, where do we start, right? Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, when you think about it, it really starts at the mission of the Ryan East Foundation. You know, all the way back a number of years ago, we, we had a very simple mission. We wanted to find ways to create opportunities for teens to embrace the power of giving. And how do we do that? We did that through creating volunteerism and opportunities for them to learn leadership, inspirational leadership uh, programs, mm -hmm. and giving them the ability to make a significant impact in the, in the communities that they serve. And, you know, our student service program is our bread and butter, Angie. That's why we're here tonight. And, That's right. You know, we couldn't do it. So over the years and even tonight without some of the amazing sponsors, Angie. And you see them, we see that the Bartolo's up there. Yes. You know, Johnson Oak, Mike and Charlotte Sunderland, the Charity Polo Classic, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Shout out to all my Buccaneer fans. That's right. Yeah, no, Woo -hoo! No, 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 hold that against you. Yes. You know, Rolex Quest, Synovus, we got some great sponsors and, oh. and just really everyone stepping up tonight. We do, and we're going to meet some of the students that are involved in the program. You're going to hear so much about what the power of giving is all about, how you got started, and, and where it is, and where we look forward to going. And, of course, we have a huge fundraising goal, so stick around. We'll give you all the details about that. And it's really going to be a fun way, and it's kind of comfortable. You look pretty comfy in your sweatshirt at home, buddy. Yeah, you like that sweatshirt? <laughs> you know, my wife picked that out. I got to give her credit. I don't know if this is, which, if this is something that represents me as a sloth. I don't know if that's a good thing, but we thought it was a pretty cool uh, uh, sweater that she picked out. And, you know, we'll bring her in later, and you can see her outfit for sure. I'm you sure. You know, it's funny because I think about, I got to give some love to Angie to, you know, I think about Heather, and I think about, um, I think about Scott and Gabriel and Allison. Yes. These are the individuals that worked out behind the scenes. So yes. shout out to each of you for making this happen, bringing this script together. And gosh, dang, I know it's been a tough year. 2020 has been a tough year, Angie. Yes, we're, we're just you ready to what? throw we're our hands celebrate in. Tonight. We're going to set aside some of the negativity. We're going to yes. set aside yes. some of the distractions. We're going to have a little drink, drink, you know, dance a little bit maybe, and, and, and have a good time. So uh, yeah. what do we got, we got coming up? Well, I tell you what, I'm going to say cheers to that. It's ready to have a little drink. How about that? So let's bust out those kits. By the way, if you don't have a kit, I'll tell you how to get one in a second. But we are joined by master mixologist, Mr. Shane from Dark Door Spirits. Shane, all right, you're going to help us get the party started, right? Right? What are we going to make first? <laughs> well, I think the first one we're going to do is the maple made martini. Okay, all right. Uh, like a nice espresso martini would be great right now. So yes. what we're going to do is start with your 10. You got your shaker, Andy? All right, hold on. Let me get up. All right, I've got it. Got my shaker. Okay, what do I do? So we're going to take two ounces of our Pandemic at the Disco vodka. Okay. So I love that. Got it. Your jigger? Or are you I, just going to pour it I'm just going to pour. I'm, I'm freestyling like it, it tonight, Shane, okay? Like, we'll, do it. we'll do it together. Okay. All right, you ready? Do I count? Count it like this. One. <laughs> Three, I've got to work after four. this, Shane. <laughs> okay. That's perfect. Got it. We're going to go, and we're going to take our made coffee. Okay, uh, I love really that. This is so easy. I've never had this, Shane. Okay. It's nitro brew. Yeah, it's it's great. It's love another it. you know, Florida local 
company. We okay. Have a great time. So How much? Half. I'm going to look at yours. One, two. One, two. Okay. Yeah. Is that good? Okay. And then over here we have a maple cinnamon syrup. This sounds amazing. Okay. Let me yeah. smell this. Now, when you're okay. making it at home, you can do a half ounce, like I say, if you need it a little sweeter, put a little more in there. Okay. Or, you know, if you want it a little less sweet, do a quarter of an ounce. Okay. All up to your own taste. Now okay. we're gonna do our ice. All right, I've got ice in mine already. Thank you for the ice delivery. Okay. <laughs> All right, Angie, let me see, let me see a really good shake. Oh, you ready? honey, ready? I've been wanting to do this. All right, ready? Honey, I can shake it up, okay? Shake what my mama gave me, isn't that what they say? <laughs> I watched Bar Rescue, I'm ready for this, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> you do that shake is way better than mine. <laughs> when I shake it at home, the top comes off. It's the magic of television, okay. So I'm I don't know if I can get the top off. <laughs> you got this? Hold on, I'm gonna get it up. My hands are so cold. Hold on. Just take, uh, the top part should come off. Hold on, we're gonna pass that off. Watch this, magic of television. <laughs> she can't get it off me. There I we go. It. All right, got it. Done. <laughs> and I didn't drink yet, I promise, okay. Now we're gonna strain it in. Oh, so I do need the little top off, okay. Yeah. I got it, all right, here we go. A little strain. If okay. you're feeling fancy, you can okay. add a couple of uh, the vanilla beans. All of this is beans. in the kit, by the way. This is like so convenient. You like show off for your a friends. Little, Do you espresso of beans? beans in here. Okay. And that's your first cocktail. Cheers. Cheers. To the power of good. The maple made martini, which, by the way, delicious. Okay. Not bad, right? I love that. That Mr. syrup is that. that's really, really good. Love that. Okay, we have uh, number two, right? We are, we're doing number two. Okay. The second one is the gingerbread old fashioned. I felt like, you know, it's tis the season. Okay. I've got my little here. So we're gonna do, we're gonna take a, give your 10. You okay. can still use a 10. Okay. Stir. Right, I've got a little stir that comes in the box, okay. right? Okay. You actually just, you can build this cocktail right in your glass if you wanted to. Okay, great. I've got these cute ice cubes. I love that. All right. We're gonna start with two ounces of the Spirit of the Oak bourbon. You pour it between your hands all cute, Shane. Okay. Such a mixologist, you. Okay. Mm. You learn a few things. <laughs> so drinking from the bottles out. Okay, thank goodness I'm over 21. <laughs> I do that too, though. Don't okay. Worry. So simple syrup we're next. Gonna do, we're gonna do a vanilla ginger syrup. Okay. Oh. So we're doing gosh. half ounce of that. Again, it's all it's all your preference on how sweet <gasps> you want a cocktail. Oh my I think gosh. half ounce is perfect. Though. That smells be able to delicious. Okay. Ginger. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a few drops of your bitters. You should have an old fashioned style bitters there. Yes. Uh, and any, any old fashioned bitters will work. Okay. The one in your kit, perfect though. It's fantastic. Okay. How many shakes about is that? Three. About three. Okay. Three. I'm a I'm a big bitters fan, so I I I'd like to add a little bit more. Okay. Now you're gonna take your ice, and opposed to shaking, mm -hmm. you're just gonna give it some stirs. Stirs. Okay. Yeah. All I want to do is dilute the cocktail a little bit. You know how to really get the party started, my friend. Okay. That's what I'm here for. Okay. Now, <laughs> my mother's watching like Angie. I knew it. I knew you'd be drinking <laughs> or eating. <laughs> and then I have my ice now. Okay. I'm gonna take mine. And you're pouring in it. Dark Door Spirits makes it so easy. I love it. Everything is in the box, so convenient. Here's a little recipe card. Ginger Knock if you dare. Gingerbread, old fashioned. Shane, I can't, you're, you're, you're torturing me. I can't wait to like enjoy this. I got, well, I mean, you got cheers. Oh, it's getting so fancy. It give it a little snap over top. Mm -hmm. Get those, express those oils. 
And I'm gonna slide that in there. And there you go. Cheers. Mm. Not bad, right? You should be very jealous if you're at home. Oh my goodness, incredible. Incre this is the first old fashioned, honest to goodness, the first old fashioned I've ever made. So I'll remember the 12th annual power of giving for that. And Shane, thank you so much, my friend. Delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Okay, these are definitely Insta worthy drinks. And by the way, I would love to see your photos. So if you've got some photos, Share them on our Instagram, share them on our Facebook. Maybe you made a drink along with us. And again, I told you about how to get it, but let me tell you about the hashtags first. How about hashtag power of giving and hashtag POG holiday, all right? So it's good. Now, if you wanna know how to get these great kits in your home, perfect gift giving, or for this time of the season, I'm gonna tell you how to do that. So if you need a cocktail kit, there's still time. Go to darkdoorspirits.com, it's easy. Click on shop, then you'll see gifts and they make the most amazing presents, especially for people who have everything, right? Now, speaking of presents, while I lift my glass to them, how about some amazing silent auction items that are up for grabs to help you with your holiday shopping because it is that time. So text leadership to 72727. You can follow the prompts and get registered. And it is so simple and it's actually fun. Think about it, your feet are up and you're at home. So that'll get you started. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna play a little music. How about an original song from the Phase 5 band? Mistletoe, and I prefer the candlelight. I like snow, you want some fancy, I can get away. I say Merry Christmas, you say Happy Holiday. We don't have to celebrate in the old fashioned way. Just a little compromise can keep the blues away. I like you, and you like me. It's been to see. We're not breaking in the law. Just the two of us making Christmas ours. I'll go with you sledding once we decorate the tree. And I'll take you to the movies where you'll sit real close to me. Then we'll pick a diner with a perfect atmosphere to argue over coffee. We're the ring in the new year. We don't have to celebrate in the old fashioned way. Just a little compromise can give the blues away. I like you and you like me. It's plain to see. And we're not breaking any laws. Just the two of us making, making Christmas ours. Who's joining me, right? Look who's here! Ah, as much as I love music and dancing, I love this guy, Thunderbug! Thunderbug! High five, my man! All right, so welcome back. Okay, it's time to look at some of the hot auction items that we have available for you. So let's start with one of my favorites. I love shopping, so let's start over here. 
If you are looking for a custom made suit, feast your eyes on the, I think they have your size too, Thunderbrook. Okay, this is always a favorite. A custom tailored men's or women's suit from Bespoke & Company. So you're gonna choose from the large assortment of the different fabrics from around the world. And they're gonna produce a suit just for you that reflects your own personal style and your taste. This is a custom made suit with a value of $1,500. So that's available up for grabs. Now, ladies, we know that diamonds are our best friend, our bestie, our frenemy, everything. So how about this gorgeous necklace? You are going to dazzle in this 2.12 carat radiant praseolite gemstone pendant. I want you to get a close up of this because it's absolutely stunning. I love this. It's so gentle, it's so gorgeous. We're talking about a 14 carat white gold chain, all donated by the gold and diamond source. And this retails for $1,000. So this is available as well. And if I have any fans of The Bachelor and you love to sip on a little wine, it's Wine Down Wednesday sometime, or maybe it's every day for you for that happy hour. We have a little message from a former Bachelor, not you, because you're not available. The former Bachelor is here tonight with a little wine bit. So here's a video for you to check out. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Ben Planick. I am the proprietor of Ion Wines, the proprietor and winemaker, actually. Uh, just wanted to make sure you check out the silent auction on um, my rosé, my uh, Provençal slash Bandol style of rosés. Uh, you're bidding on the 2018 vintage, which is a blend of two different vineyards from Mendocino and Lodi, uh, Zinfandel, Pinot Noir, Grenache, and Cinso. Uh, pairs really well for the holidays, stands up to turkey, and all of this goes to a great cause. So really appreciate it, and um, thanks for your support. I love it, Ben. All right, so along with my little boo thing right here, Thunderbug, congratulations. Let's give it up for the Steely Cup Championship for our winning tip of Bay Lightning. Oh my goodness, I love it. We are so proud of you. And it's so great to have you here with us on this wonderful event, but we've got more items in our silent auction. So how about some of those items? Let's check it out. So Thunderbug's gonna help me. Andre Vasilevsky, the autographed jersey or the stick is available, how cool or Alex Killer Calhoun, that puck is there. So what do you think about that, Thunderbug? Is that good? Yeah, I think it's pretty awesome. I agree. <laughs> so these are all available, and they're just a few of the many items that we do have for you in our silent auction bidding. So if you're wondering about bidding, keep in mind, there are three ways to give tonight, okay? So you can place a bid in our auction, make a donation on Qtago, or you can simply purchase a holiday cocktail kit, which is from Dark Door Spirits, and they are delicious. And every purchase helps this awesome cause. So, Thunderbug, I got a question for you, my friend, because a lot of people are watching tonight who may not know that high school students in the Power of Giving Student Service Program have traveled outside of Tampa Bay to help communities in crisis, which is a really, really big deal. We love that. So, some of the things they've done, they've helped in the aftermath of the New Orleans hurricane. They've actually assisted residents in Flint, Michigan during the water crisis, and they've improved third world living condition in resident homes and communities within the Dominican Republic. We're so proud of them. So now let's hear firsthand from both the students and the board members on what the power of giving means to them. To me, the power of giving is, is just the opportunity to help someone else. There was just so much that I learned from the program and I was hoping to learn a lot about leadership and community service skills and more about the community of Tampa Bay. And that was exactly what I, what I did and more. My favorite event has been the student service trips each year. I think from their first day on the trip to like when they're leaving is just a tremendous difference in how they see the power of giving. Before joining the Ryan East Foundation, I found that words such as community service, leadership, or community projects, they were all just buzzwords, and I felt as if I didn't really understand what they meant or um, the importance of them. But joining the Ryan East Foundation and actually partaking in these community service projects for people who need your help, I found that it has not only helped my development as a person, but also my development as a leader in the community. One thing I've noticed about this foundation that I appreciate is the passion that the students have with giving and recognizing the, the power of helping someone else and putting someone else maybe uh, their needs in front of their own. 
We had so many moments where the students would say, I've never seen communities in this dire amount of need, for example, and I've never witnessed the poverty that I've seen in these communities. So to really just get a, a more global understanding of people that live in different situations throughout the world and also just the sense of really giving back and what that means and to hear, even now today, to hear from the teens say that it's not just something they want to do in high school, it's something that they're going to do for the rest of their lives. I've gained a lot from the Ryan Ace Foundation. I've gained confidence in working with nonprofit organizations and being in a leadership role, as well as experience traveling abroad and working with service organizations abroad. I will use what I've learned with the Ryan Ace Foundation and continue going forward to impact my community in a positive way. The power of giving can kind of be exemplified when you can just feel the joy and the happiness of the people that you're helping and them simultaneously giving back to you. It's kind of like a win-win situation for us both. Um, you become so empowered and it's just the impact that anyone can come to have is so tremendous. I mean, the power of giving, it's like Ryan Neese himself says, you know, if not you, then, then who? It truly can begin with anyone. And it's, it's truly something very beautiful and very empowering. What does it mean to make security possible? It's our promise of our Gray Matter platform, combined with world-class security expertise, to protect your business from the most complex cybersecurity attacks. ReliaQuest, we make security possible. I love it. So some of you are already getting into the holiday spirit, and I actually think our social posts are enjoying those Dr. Spirits. You might have seen it, but we are busy on social media. So I'd love to show you what's happening on Instagram and Facebook. All right, so let's take a look here. Actually, we'll put some of these up. Oh, I love that. Keep them coming. Yes, they got their drinks. So cool. Use power of giving us your hashtag and hashtag POG holiday as your, your, your hashtag. So it's like, it's so much fun. You know, we love to all engage in social media. It's great. Now, something that's really important is the students. So now let's see how our students are working with other nonprofits in the area, like this one, the Spring of Tampa Bay. The Spring of Tampa Bay is the Certified Domestic Violence Center for Hillsborough County. For over 43 years, we have provided safety, supportive services uh, to survivors and to their children. Partnership is the kind of um, the life force by which we live at the spring because we know we're stronger with all of the partners in the community. The gift that the Ryan Neese Foundation gives to the spring is that you've got uh, you know, young high school kids who are passionate about being leaders in their community. In the five years that we partner with the Ryan Neese Foundation, it has been fantastic uh, working with the kids each year, getting to know them a little bit and seeing their passion and enthusiasm for making a difference, not just about our cause, about ending domestic violence, but also all the other causes that they have been a part of each month during the program. If your passion is youth leadership development, then the Ryan Neese Foundation is a really great fit for, for your time or your money or both. Their focus is on helping young people become even better versions of themselves and use what they've learned to better the community around them. So, you know, I think if you've got a passion for kids and you've got a passion for your community, the Ryan Neese Foundation is a great way to, you know, put that passion to work. Beautiful, thank you. Well, you know what, it's time to check in with our meter here to see where we are with the giving. I know everyone's so busy. Oh my goodness, look, we're at 22000 this is so exciting. We already have those donations pouring in. Our, this, you're looking at it. It's our power of giving meter. Way to go, everyone. Hey, keep up the great work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at that. Charity Polo Classic is giving. The, the Johnson Pope is giving. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let's see who else have. Oh, there's so many. We have Next Play Capital. It's going on and on. The DeBartolo Family Foundation. Relia Quest. This is outstanding. Thank you so much for helping us reach our goal tonight. The goal is $50,000. I was looking at my phone. Mo Harley is going to be giving as well. I just thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we've got more to go. So coming up, I want you to join me uh, because now er, um, Aiden Bernstein, who is actually part of the Student Service Program, which is an amazing program. We'll tell you about that. He actually joined in 2015 as a junior at King High School. Now, Aiden, you are joining us from your current uh, school. You're at the University of Richmond. Good evening. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm doing great, but I'm actually here in uh, Tampa. What? Home, yeah. You came yeah. home. Oh, it's so right. cool. Welcome home, my friend. Welcome home. So, Aiden, I would love to know, as part of the program, 
tell us about maybe just one experience that you had in the student service program that really had the most impact on you? Maybe something you still think about to this day. Yeah, well, it's so difficult to only pick um, one thing because we did so much during my time in the student service program. But if I did have to choose one um, event that I got to participate in as a part of the program, it was definitely um, my class trip to the Detroit, Detroit uh, Flint, Michigan area, where we got to work with the water crisis and other um, issues in the greater Detroit area. And um, it was really powerful for me to you know, go beyond my community because the monthly service um, opportunities in the Tampa Bay area are great. But then when you really get to take a step back and you understand how the power of giving can be applied um, across any type of situation, any community, I feel like it was extremely powerful for me as a learning experience. Yes, I love that. So any principles that you'd like to share that maybe you learned as part of the program, anything you still use in your college life today, even though you're not on campus right now? Definitely a commitment to public service has been something that stayed with me and being able to apply the leadership skills that I, grow, uh, that I was able to grow um, through the program, definitely something that I carry with me today and just a passion for public service and thinking about ways that I could always better my community. Right, I know that makes Ryan very happy. Look at him, he's like, yes, yes. <laughs> That's what it's about, Ryan. Do um, you have something to say, Ryan? Were you thinking about that? Aiden, it's so good to see you, my friend. Always warms my heart to see you. I'm curious, give our listeners and give everybody watching one tip, one tip on how they can embrace the power of giving. I would say find a way that you can um, use your passion for anything and be able to apply that to the power of giving. So if you have a passion for outdoors, you have a passion for sports, there's always different ways that you can apply those passions into ways that you can help other people. For example, um, I've participated in the organization Buddy Baseball. Um, I'm sure a lot of people listening are aware of that great nonprofit organization out of Temple Terrace. And, you know, I've always had a passion for sports and it's just something that I, I have fun doing. And it, it's something that, you know, really is using that power of giving, I think. Yes, that's sweet. Um, listen, any plans after graduation real quick for you, Aiden? Well, I am in the law school application process, so I'm excited to um, pick a school, hopefully in the next couple months, and then I'll go from there. All right, well, we'll keep in touch. Thank you for joining us, Aiden. It's been a joy and Thank all the you best so much. to you. All right, take care. Yeah, it was care. great seeing you guys. All right. <laughs> Aiden, great to see you, brother. I appreciate everything you're doing, man. Keep stepping up, keep making plays. And, and speaking of making plays, we know somebody plays a little bit of music. So, Howie, give us some love. Let us know what you're thinking. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Howie Dro from the Backstreet Boys. The holidays are all about giving. So if you have the power to give, please do so by texting your donation today. Johnson Pope, I, we appreciate your love. Thank you for your support of the Ryan Found, Ryanese Foundation over the years. It means a lot. You really embrace the power of giving and all that you do. And there's another another friend of mine that's out in LA. We've got to make sure that he's ready. Jalil, are you out there? Because I know you know what the power of giving is all about. Hey guys, Jalil Webb. You caught me filming a little something at work. Tis the season for giving, and one of the best ways to give back is through a wonderful silent auction page. Every bid helps create a much brighter future. It just so happens, this is hanging in my dressing room. I think some friends of mine, this might be relevant to them and what I'm filming. <laughs> Start bidding. Love you guys. Metropolitan Ministries' mission is to care for the homeless and those at risk of becoming homeless. And we can't do what we do without great community partners like the Ryan Neese Foundation. Well, I am a firm believer that uh, partnerships uh, are stronger when you work together with organizations that can leverage core competencies. What I really like about the Ryanese Foundation is that they're hands-on. They're in the community. 
When I think about those moments that really touched my heart when the Ryan East Foundation and Metropolitan is working together, I think about kids uh, coming to volunteer to help families that are still struggling. I, that interaction of our future and people caring about our future and, and youth development, giving kids real practical experiences. And it really makes me feel hopeful for our future. We are grateful to have those opportunities that volunteers come alongside us. The Ryan East Foundation provides volunteers for us on a regular basis, and we're very, very grateful. For those that are watching this that are supporters of the Ryan East Foundation, I can tell you firsthand that they are good stewards of your gifts and your support. I see it firsthand. I see it firsthand making a change in the lives of young people that are in the leadership development program. I see it firsthand in the families that are struggling, that don't know where they're going to get their next meal. Um, I see it on a regular basis being delivered by the Ryan East Foundation. For those of you who are interested in making a gift, I would just tell you it's a great place to get involved, to be part of the change that all communities need by seeing a foundation like this make a difference in the community and to see them come alongside other organizations. Collectively, we are stronger together and the Ryan Neese Foundation is worthy of your investment. Wow, what a great message from a great partner in Metropolitan Ministries. You talk about aligning with individuals of, that support excellence, that support the community. We aspire to be like Metropolitan Ministries. Thank you for all that you do in the Tampa Bay community. It means a lot that we can partner with you during the Thanksgiving holiday to feed over 1,500 people and allow our students to work side by side with you in your efforts to make a difference in the lives of others. Speaking of making a difference, giving takes courage. And I tell you what, individuals that are on American Ninja Warrior, it takes a lot of courage to swing off those bars, jump over those obstacles. And if you guys are American Ninja Warrior fans, I bet you recognize this next person. Hey everyone, it's Akbar Bajabia Miller, and I hope you guys are having so much fun. Now you can't tell me this isn't the best virtual party you've ever attended especially because we are all realizing that we have the power of giving inside of us. What does that mean? Well, the power of giving means the best of us must help the rest of us. Let that sizzle in your spirit real quick. Now, since we're all in the giving spirit, I want you guys to log on to Cutego to place a bid in the silent auction right now. You can be loud about it if you want. <laughs> or you can make a donation to help the Ryan Neese Foundation continue to mentor the youth who will eventually run the world and tell me we couldn't use some great leadership right about now. I want to take this time to just thank you guys for your support. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. We just received one of the largest donations of N95 masks donated to us by the Ryan Neese Foundation. The Ryan Neese Foundation, we're excited to deliver 2,000 masks. These N95s are particularly important in stopping infection. This is extremely vital to us and the uh, safety and welfare of all of our deputies and employees. Our caregivers are on the front lines of this and doing everything they can to keep our community safe. And we're just so thrilled to have some extra supplies uh, from the Ryan Neese Foundation. We're proud to be affiliated with you. Thank you so much to all of you for donating. We're so grateful uh, to the Ryan Neese Foundation for what they do and caring for our community. It'll be helpful to feel safe uh, while taking a COVID patient. In that time of greatest need, if this is what you really want to see, our community come out supporting one another. They've set the bar high, so I challenge the community to come out and top that. So when the pandemic hit hard in March, the foundation really sprung into action. With the help of donations from Ryan's personal contacts overseas, they were able to secure more than 18,000 N95 masks. So the masks were donated to 45 hospitals and other essential organizations throughout the Tampa Bay area. Now, Community Health Centers of Pinellas was just one of those recipients. Since March, they have performed more than 30,000 COVID tests. Wow, that's awesome. Now tonight, 
we would love to recognize one of their dedicated healthcare heroes. So registered nurse Fernando Quintanilla has played an instrumental role in that implementation and development of the COVID testing for both the community and the CHCP employees. So Fernando, I'd like to welcome you. During the stress of the pandemic, you displayed such a compassion for patients through your calm and reassuring nature. You went above and beyond and really what is required to ensure excellent patient care. Hi, so glad you're with us. I would like Thank to you. present this to you, my friend. It's a gratitude. We're sending you all of this beautiful gift box, courtesy of Figs, by the way. They are creators of comfortable designer medical apparel. This is all for you. Mwah! We love you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very appreciate it. <laughs> you're so welcome. We are honored. Fernando, this is Brian, and I just want to say thank you for being a hero. Thank you. Thank you. Not only me, all my coworkers, all my my peers here working hard since the beginning of this pandemic. We're all being here at Frontline, uh, helping our community, um, serving our people here to provide uh, with a test. And it's been really a rough year, but uh, hoping that next year will be better. And like we're here for our community. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All the best to you and continue to stay safe. Thank you. Same All right. to you guys. Take care. Thank you. God well, bless you. Appreciation. We're going to give you the figs basket, but I'm also personally going to deck you out head to toe in some fig swag. So we're going to give you all new shrubs. Make sure when you go to work, you have everything you need. In that environment. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for everybody in the city of Tampa. They are in the process. Here we are. Community Health Center is here for our community. Yes. Thank you, <laughs> for our people. We think about people like Fernando that are making Hall of Fame plays. We got to bring yeah, in a Hall of Famer after him. We're the paper. Big friend of mine, Howie Long, is coming up. Howie, what do you got? Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in to the Power of Giving holiday party. To me, the power of giving is taking care of everyone everywhere. We all have the power to give and to make our community and our world a better place. Thank you for supporting the next generation of givers through the Ryan Neese Foundation Student Service Program. Your support is greatly appreciated. Happy holidays. Thanks, Howie. Listen, every year the Ryan Neese Foundation hosts two Power of Thanksgiving celebrations to provide food and books and crafts and tons of joy to more than 1,500 individuals. This year, it was a drive through event, of course, but let's see how it looks under more normal conditions. What do you get when you bring nearly 200 volunteers together to serve 1,500 meals, all with a belief in the power of giving? Find out next. You know what, it started 10 years ago with one simple premise. How can we find a way to serve individuals in our community by creating an environment where we could take them out of their maybe challenging environment and bring them into an environment that would allow them to feel joy, laughter, great energy, and be able to give them a great meal and then send them away to be able to have enough food to have their own Thanksgiving. So that was the premise and continue to refine it. And it gets better because of the love in the room and the effort that our volunteers, every single year we get more and more volunteers and, and everybody comes out and, and really lends a helping hand. And so we're always trying to find new ways, whether it's providing food, providing books, providing arts and crafts, providing pictures, whatever we can do to give the families an opportunity to feel, you know, great and yeah. feel happy and feel yeah. joyful about this one little special moment. And we try to give them the opportunity to really feel the power of giving. That's our mantra, so we're trying to do that every single way that we can is to share it. But our bread and butter program is our student service program, where we right. try to teach and inspire young high school juniors and seniors on the principles of the power of giving. We want them to feel encouraged and feel empowered to ask one simple question. How can I help you today? What can I do to make a difference in your life? And if we can encourage young minds to do that one thing, yeah. we're gonna make our world better.
that's amazing. You've got to love the power of giving. So joining us now is Simone Gerard, who actually joined the student service program while attending Armwood High School back in 2013. She's a graduate of the University of Florida, and she's now a business owner. So Simone, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank I'm glad to be here. It's an honor. So tell them, what does the power of giving, what does it mean to you? So the power of giving to me means to learn, to learn not only about your community, but to learn more about yourself, to learn more how you can give and to learn more of if not you, then who. Wow. So what's the, maybe one of the most important things you learned as part of the student service program? So one of the most important things that I've learned within the student service program is perseverance, mm. to persevere through anything because what you might notice in these different communities and different places that you go is that some people are dealing in way worse situations than you. Wow. And if they can get through it, then you can too. Speaking of perseverance, you are a business owner. Go ahead, girl boss, I love that. <laughs> so tell us how the power of giving kind of guided you in entrepreneurship. Yes, yeah, so my business is called First of Its Kind. It was created to exemplify that what you put in and on your body matters. Mm. And so with the Ryan Neese Foundation, I really like to tie in learning and perseverance with the power of giving to my business because as you know, different things are thrown at you, as, such as 2020, you learn to persevere, you learn to get through the things that you want to get through, and as well knowing how you can give back to your community and to make them better as a whole. Oh, hot. give me an elbow on that, love that. <laughs> Be sure to check out Simone's products online. It's F-O-I-K dot com. I appreciate that, that was awesome. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> and you know this guy right here, huh? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I want to bring somebody in that's your top Hi, bidder. Um, <laughs> I am currently your top bidder. I'm just letting everybody know. <laughs> I know this girl. I'm excited about your product. Yes, yes. You will be highly surprised and very, you will like it. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Thank you. So good to see you. So proud of you. Yes. Keep up the great work for all the things you're doing. Um, business owner. I love it. You know, and speaking of another group that we really love is somebody I had a chance to work for. Fox Sports has given us a lot of love over the years and a good friend of mine, Chris Myers from Fox Sports. You guys probably recognize him. Chris, give us some love. Hi there, and thanks for joining us tonight for the Power of Giving Holiday Party. Are you registered for the silent auction? Well, if not, text LEADERSHIP to 72727, and we'll send you a link to get registered. And there are lots of great items up for grabs, or if auctions aren't necessarily your thing, you can also make a donation to the Support the Ryanese Foundation's Power of Giving programs. Thanks again to everybody, and happy holidays. The youth that are in the student service program are just remarkable. I mean, they really are light workers that are doing good in this community. And what's so great about them is they're coming and learning about the university area community for the first time, but then they're coming back. Hi, my name is Sarah Combs, and I'm the CEO at the University Area CDC. And our mission is to work with residents in the Uptown University Area community and work with them in an effort to improve this area. And we do that in a number of different ways. And we utilize a lot of different partners. And one of our favorite partners is the Ryan Meese Foundation. For over a decade, the Ryan Meese Foundation, through their power of Thanksgiving, where they serve about a thousand residents here in the Uptown University Area community, through a meal. A lot of people don't think that's a big deal, but for us it is. And the Ryan Neese Foundation has gotten to know these residents, gotten to know their stories, and been able to really help them through times of struggle, but also, most importantly, helping them see that there is hope. And so I think that the power of Thanksgiving this year is going to be more important than it has been in the years past, just because so many families are struggling out there and don't know where their next meal will come. But on Thanksgiving, they know because of this event. Through the Ryan Meese Foundation, they're bringing up leaders of tomorrow. You know, these leaders are our future. Having them and equipping them with what they need in order to serve these communities and is just such a testament to the work that they're doing. I just love that phrase, light workers. You know, they say that laughter is truly one of the best medicines out there. And after the year we've had, oh, I think we could all use a little laugh, don't you? We could use more of it. So here all the way from Los Angeles with his super funny comedy, Ben Morrison. Well, hello, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the Ryan Neese Foundation 
Christmas party. Uh, my name is Ben Morrison, and I'm going to tell some jokes and, and talk a little bit about this crazy year that we've all been through. 2020. What a trip. I, frankly, would like to congratulate you for actually making it to Christmas. I mean, I thought by now aliens would have invaded and Mario Lopez would be president. Ooh, that skin, so soft. Now, it, it comes as no surprise that this year has been, you know, kind of weird. We've experienced most of the year inside, looking out at empty streets where no one's walking around except robots who are delivering your food. That is a real robot running around Los Angeles delivering Postmates. What is this, Wall-E? Exactly. Now, a lot of people uh, like to wear the bandanas as their mask. I think a lot of guys prefer the bandana because they think it makes them look super duper cool when in reality, they wind up looking like a fat Axl Rose. <laughs> and they're like, bro, I don't look like a fat Axl. I look like a train robber. No, you don't. You look like fat Axl. Get off tour. It's time to call it a day. Everyone had to wear a mask this year. Even Tyrannosaurus Rexes had to wear a mask. And say what you will about this photo, you have to admit that Rowersh Your Hands is probably the cutest thing I've ever seen. Everyone's making masks now. Even Apple Computer, this is true, Apple Computer is about to start production on their very own mask, the Apple Eye Mask. And in true Apple fashion, it's coming in a lot of designer colors, such as Pandemic Pink, Corona Coral, and the one that I'm, I'm going to get, six feet of space gray. I got it on reserve at the Genius Bar. That mask is mine. This has been the year of social distancing. Everyone's got to stay six feet apart. And I, myself, am from Boston, and we're taking it very seriously. Stay wicked far apart. Got it. You got to stay wicked far apart. Well, how far apart do I got to stay? I don't know, like a, a, a car lane. Six car. You gotta stay six car far apart. I got coronavirus. How you like them apples? That's a goodwill hunting joke for all the youngins in the audience who haven't seen it. It's a beautiful movie. I highly recommend you watch Goodwill Hunting. Remember when this started and there was a run on the grocery stores? There was no food available. Remember all the empty shelves where once food had existed? and now food does not exist anymore. And I think companies should have used this opportunity as a real interesting, I don't know, kind of market research tool because I was at the grocery store and there wasn't any food. And I noticed that there happened to be quite a lot of these Pringles, which goes to show you that even during a global pandemic, when everyone has bought all the food, no one wants to eat your cheeseburger Pringles. No one wants them. They never wanted them. They would rather die than eat your cheeseburger Pringles. So maybe you should, I don't know, consider not making them anymore. I don't know. Just a thought. And what was the deal with, what was the deal with all the, all the toilet paper? Like, did no one tell you that this was, this was not a poop disease? I couldn't find toilet paper for a million miles around. And I, I suffer from Crohn's disease. That's a digestive disease where you poop a lot. The coronavirus and the run on toilet paper was my own personal no TP having hell. But I made it work for me. This is true. When, that, when, all, when all this went down, I was down to my last roll of toilet paper. But because I am a Jew, I made it last for eight days. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dumbest joke I've ever done, and I love it. And we've all had to deal with craziness this year. I'm sure you guys have had to deal with your one idiot conspiracy theorist friend yep. who's always telling you about all the, the undercover plots yep. behind, behind what went down, telling you that, that Bill Gates caused coronavirus. He, he's an evil dark lord. And I'm going to tell you this right now. There is no better man in the entire world to deal with with coronavirus than Mr. Bill Gates over here. The man invented Microsoft Windows. He's been dealing with viruses for 20 years. And there's only one way to deal 
with your conspiracy theorist friend. And that is unfriend. You're gone. You're out my life forever. It's been a hard year for tourism. Very hard year for tourism. Las Vegas shut down. Can you believe that? Las Vegas actually shut down. But they, they adapted. Everyone had to adapt. You saw some change happening at the casinos. They had to embrace it. Yep. They changed their name to Caesar's Pandemic. <laughs> the Hard Cough Caesar. Casino. And for those of you on a budget, COVID, COVID. <laughs> Actually, I stayed at Circus Circus back in 94, and I got coronavirus back then. So they've, <laughs> they've, they've had COVID for 23 years. I've been, uh, I've been doing a lot of drinking. I've been doing a lot of drinking. It, it's, it's gotten a little out of hand this year, the amount of drinking yeah. I have done. And I was informed that you guys are all drinking custom cocktails at home while you watch this. And honestly, if you're going to get wasted, there's no better place to get wasted than in your very own home. You don't have to worry about driving. You don't even have to worry about getting to your bedroom. The couch is going to do just fine. The party starts and ends in your living room. Although I must admit, I, I have been doing so much drinking that I even I even tried out uh, CVS's new breakfast vodka. It uh, it's as depressing as it sounds. Vodka for breakfast, guys. Vodka for breakfast. Tumultuous here, protests everywhere. I actually went. I, I lived right around the corner from Hollywood and Highland, where. Uh, a lot of the protests, as my slides are, I lived around the corner from Hollywood and Highland, where the largest protest in all of Los Angeles happened. I mean, 50,000 people protesting in the streets. But it actually, it gave me hope for the future of America, because even during this political uprising, they were still selling street dogs. I bought one. It, it tasted like racial justice. Uh, there was a lot of looting that happened in my neighborhood, right in the heart of Hollywood. You know, we have all the souvenir stores. And uh, the souvenir store, right around the corner from my apartment, got looted. Uh, they cleaned out the entire thing. They stole all of the souvenirs, all of the fake Oscars. Uh, although, if you ask me, eh, they were kind of asking for it. <laughs> One thing I will miss, though, is the traffic. Oh. Remember how good the traffic was when all this went down? There I was, driving from, from downtown LA to Santa Monica in 15 minutes. I remember driving on an empty highway thinking, you know, this commute is so good, coronavirus might actually be worth it. <laughs> thinking, I hope, I hope they don't never find a cure. And now I haven't waited in bumper to bumper traffic once this year. So glad I. Invented and then released coronavirus. It was a good move on, on my part. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say thank you for being a part of the special evening here for the Ryan Neese Foundation, the program and the institute and the foundation, the org. All of the words do incredible work to help empower youth. And you know, you know they're serious because Ryan Neese, that man can dress. <laughs> I want to give that guy some money. I don't even care if he's going to use it to buy more snappy suits. I like the way he's looking at me. I think he deserves some cash. So please donate heavily to the cause. Because he doesn't just buy suits. It goes to a lot of very, very good programs. And I highly recommend that you give him tons of cash. And I'd like to thank you for joining me on this rather interesting, not in-person, virtual Christmas party. Being to you live from wherever wherever you are right now, to, from wherever I am, I have no idea. It's President Mario Lopez. That's my name, President <laughs> Mario Lopez. So thank you to the foundation. My name is Ben Morrison. And finally, if you like what I do, please give me a follow on Instagram and Twitter, at Ben the Morrison, for tons more content like this. Thank you very much. Back to whoever is posting this thing. Give them some money. Give them lots of money. Goodbye. <laughs> You
are such a nut. Uh, that would be Angie Corley hosting. Thank you so much. All right. So Ryan has a few more L.A. friends, some superstars, who want to get in on the fun tonight. So let's hear what they have to say. Hey, everyone. I'm Kaylee Hartung from ABC News, and I just wanted to join in the fun tonight and say happy holidays. Thank you so much for tuning into tonight's virtual Power of Giving holiday party. I know it looks different than it has in years past, but the spirit is the same. It's all about the power of giving. It's a truly magical power, isn't it, that we all have to put a smile on somebody's face and to make our community and our world a better place. Your support tonight is so greatly appreciated. Happy holidays. Hello, everyone. I'm Jordan Harvey from Los Angeles Football Club. I'm honored to be a part of this event tonight and excited to help celebrate the power of giving. When asked the basic question, what does the power of giving mean to me? So many ways of giving came to mind. My wife gives by shopping and gifting everyone all year long, mailman, teachers, friends, friends of friends, you name it. You can give back to the charity, to your community. You can give kindness with a simple compliment and a wave. You can give your time to provide someone else a better future. And also, very important this year especially, I hope during this time you find a way to not only give to others, but to yourself. I don't mean materialistic things, I mean giving yourself grace. Grace in difficult days, months, this holiday, or the whole of 2020. Understand that you're not alone. So whether you're making meals, building a home, or supporting those less fortunate than yourself, I wanna take a moment and say thank you. Thank you to all that serve and embrace the power of giving. I also wanna thank everyone supporting the foundation financially. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, hey, Ryan, speaking of serving, why don't you share with everyone how your students are serving others through the Foundation's program? Hope everyone has a wonderful holiday season. On the last day in the Dominican Republic, we were playing with the children in the baseball field, and one of us uh, took off our shoes and gave it to uh, one of the kids because um, it happened to fit. So he was like, oh, yeah, you can have it. I sat there and I was like, oh, I could walk home now in my shoes or I can, get, I can give it to this girl here who actually needs it because I have a bunch of shoes at home. I don't need it. She needs it way more than I do. And I think that's what the power of giving is. It's contagious. When I, when I saw my friends exhibit this kindness and this warm-heartedness to someone that they didn't even really know, it inspired me to do the same. And I think that's what the power of giving is. And that's what we're all about here at the Red News Foundation. that you like to talk about the power of giving and it really creates this ripple effect. All it takes is one person performing one act of service to really start that ripple as it spreads so quickly. Oh, absolutely. And I want to say cheers to my friends from LA. They gave us some love and Ben, he was hilarious, definitely great. And then watching that video of the Dominican, it reminds me of just the power of giving and the the opportunity that we saw our, our children, our students share their heart. It was such a, a memorable moment. I remember it like yesterday. Yeah. Our students saw a number of individuals serving alongside us without shoes. A number of other young individuals that were trying to do what they could to help support their community. Right. And yet as they were serving, they didn't have shoes on their feet. And at the end of our trip, one of our students, as you heard in the video, took off their shoes and said, hey, you can have these. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the domino started to fall. Mm -hmm. And you talk about a powerful moment to watch everybody in the entire trip start to take off their shoes, Angie, yeah. and start to give. Yes. It wasn't required. It wasn't something that we asked anybody to do. Right. And all lifting on that bus, that last picture where you saw everybody lifting up their feet. Yes. So powerful because that's the seed we're trying to plant. Mm -hmm. It's a seed of being able to recognize when you see a need, what can you do to meet it? And when you meet it, the opportunity that you have to make a difference. And it will, you know, something that I'll never forget, something my wife was a part of. We shared that moment together. And so really grateful for that. Yeah, it is really powerful. You know, there's a map that kind of shows the ripple effect and the impact that you've had, not just here in the Tampa Bay area, you know, not just in the Dominican Republic, but many places around the world, quite frankly, of where the power of giving has touched. So I'd love to show that so people can understand that it, it starts someplace, but it really branches out and it's really kind of contagious, if you will. Oh man, I can't wait to see the map because that's really what it is. When you think about the program, our students, they come into the program their junior, year and then they spend the next two years with us learning about the power of giving learning about the principles understanding the curriculum 
getting an opportunity to really embrace the things that we're trying to instill in them. And after they go through that two-year program, all of a sudden they go off, look at this map, they go off all over the country to a number of universities all around the country, continuing to carry the principles that they learned through our student service program. And after they graduate, after they come home, they get to continue to instill all of those principles for the rest of their life. Yeah. That seed has been planted and they carry it with them. We want those men and women to be like you, Angie, to be like our sponsors, to be like others that are out there that embrace power of giving, whether it's with our organization or others that are out there, there are a lot of ways and a lot of needs that need to be met. And our students are, are doing that on a continuous basis. You better believe it, right? I totally agree. You know, like, Cara, like Sarah Combs actually said a little bit earlier, one of our students, she said, these students are light workers, you know, doing good to help communities around the country and really doing it to make it a better place. So let's check to see how those guys at home are supporting those efforts. All right, here we go. Look at this. We are almost at our goal. The goal is $50,000 just to see. We're at $47,350. We've still got more time to go. And yes, you can still help us reach our goal. So let's keep that momentum going. The DeBartolo Foundation, Elliot Ross, shout out to you. Mindy Murphy, love you, appreciate you. So many family. I mean, it just goes on. The Vinick Family Foundation. Uh, we've got the charity Polo Classic. I mean, the names are growing and the support is huge. I know we will blast that goal out of the water, Ryan, which is, it's gotta feel really, really, really good to you just to see it, right? Okay, raise the roof already. <laughs> the momentum is Numbers, Angie. That's amazing. Yes. Jeff Vinnick, Vinnick Foundation, thank you for stepping up. We appreciate that. <laughs> I love it. It's amazing. That power of giving meter is going, going, going. But now, real quick, let's check in with Madison Bars, who joined the Student Foundation, the program, um, in 2016 as a junior at Riverview High School. Madison has now started her own business as well. These students are off the chain while finishing up at Florida State. Hey there, Madison. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> well, we are excited to have you here. So tell everybody how you think the student service programs kind of help mold you and your perspective on the power of giving. Yeah, the Ryan East Foundation has forever changed my life, especially in that sense of giving back to the community as a high school student. And I think it's easy to get stuck into that stereotype that you need to have thousands of dollars or all the time in the world to make a difference within your community. But I personally think it's all about those small acts of kindness yes. that snowball into something so much bigger. Yes. And that's something that Ryan East Foundation has taught me through all those community service events and speaking to so many community leaders just in the Tampa Bay community. And I've been able to take all those lessons to apply it in my everyday life and I always try to encourage my friends and family to do it too, because the impact you can make is just so incredible. I love that. Well, Madison, tell everyone about the business you actually started. Yeah, I love what Aiden said earlier that you need to find your passion and how that lines up with the power of giving. Right. So I'm someone that loves the woman empowerment movement and just making the beauty industry a more diverse and inclusive mm -hmm. place to live, especially with the spring, seeing all the women um, in domestic violence relationships. I wanted women to have a voice within the beauty industry as well. So I have created earring cards. Uh, I don't know if you can see it all that well. They're cute. Um, but to represent different women through different ethnicities, mm -hmm. to kind of change the beauty industry to make it a more diverse, inclusive place. I also started a podcast uh, that empowers women to start their own passion projects as well. And it's just been a really cool experience since August I started. Yay, I love that. Those are awesome. Those are sharp. <laughs> I'll have to send you a pair. <laughs> Bring them on, honey. I'll support you. Let me buy them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Madison, I can't rock the earrings or what? What's going on? Yeah, you know, we're going to start branching out. We have headbands now, you know. They're welcome to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, Madison, you're doing, you're doing phenomenal work. We're so proud of you, and I've followed you and watched you on LinkedIn, see all your messages, see all your effort. And it goes beyond just building a business. Mm -hmm. You're building something from within, from your heart, from your spirit, and you do it with such conviction because you truly are trying to make a difference. And I love that about you. It's so authentic. 
And I promise everybody watching, you better watch out for Madison because <laughs> she is a game changer. She's <laughs> somebody that I have a tremendous amount of respect for and she's going to be making a difference for a long, long, long time. Yes. So thank yes. you, Madison, for being with us tonight and sharing a little bit of your story. It's amazing. Yeah, thank you for being my biggest inspiration too with spreading the power of goodness. And I hope a lot of students get touched by this as well and join the program because it's been so impactful in my life. Love that. Well, thank you, Madison. And, and speaking of other individuals that try to avoid impacts because in the profession that he comes from, if you get an impact, you're in trouble. <laughs> a good friend of mine's got another message from us. Jeff Gordon, what do you got for us? Good evening, everyone. Thanks for being here tonight. Did you know that the high school students in the Power of Giving Student Service Program devote thousands of volunteer hours to nonprofit organizations all across the Tampa Bay area and beyond? These students also learn about leadership, civic involvement, volunteering, and more through a year-long curriculum designed just for them. So please consider making a donation tonight to support the next generation of leaders in our community. If not you, then who? Thanks, and happy holidays. Well, thank you everyone for joining us here tonight. Obviously, we heard it from a lot of individuals. Angie, thank you for hosting. We really appreciate you stepping up. We really appreciate you bringing some energy, bringing some entertainment, and making sure that we're having a good time. Speaking of a good time, I had to bring in my superstar, Elijah, my wife, Mandy, because this is what it's about. This time of year is about family. It's about friends. And I know all of us out there are gathering to make a difference. So thank you for being with my family and joining us here at our Power of Giving 12th annual holiday party virtually. But at the, at, more importantly, please, if you can, step up, donate, find a way to support our efforts and in inspiring, teaching and educating our students in our program to embrace the power of giving. If not you, then who? Thank you for being with us. God bless you. Happy holidays. Goodness, Elijah, hugs to you. Ryan, thank you. Mandy, appreciate you. And I tell you, what an incredible evening. I thank you so much for your time, your talents, your treasures, for your support. It means the world. It's my honor to be with you. Keep checking back for those auction items. We're not done yet. The bidding is going to go till 5 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, so keep it up. I, I wish you just a very happy holiday. Stay safe, and until next year or next time, I'm Angie Corley. I'll see you then. Take care. <laughs>